everybody and today we are going to be making some pumpkin spice cake pops because our favorite season has begun which is the pumpkin spice latte season well it may not be your favorite but it's definitely mine so what you are going to need is a spice cake cake mix some cream cheese icing some caramel if you want to pumpkin puree orange candy melts cake pop sticks and a cake pop stand or a styrofoam block is okay, but the cake pop stand was a lot cheaper. So you are just going to follow the directions on the cake mix box. I already did that. And then this can here is a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. So I just used the entire can. I wanted to make sure that that pumpkin flavor came out and it did. And if you want to add a little extra cinnamon or something, you can just to make sure there's enough spice in there. I added a little bit of pumpkin pie spice that I had lying around my house. For some reason I don't have cinnamon, but it is what it is. And if you do do the cinnamon, obviously don't overdo it. We are not trying to do the cinnamon challenge up in this house. So just eyeball it. And then of course mix that all and then you are just going to bake the cake as usual. And another thing to note here is that when the cake is done, I just let mine sit out for about 10 minutes and then I put it in the fridge so it could cool down just a little bit quicker. You can just let it chill and hang out on the counter until it is all cool, but I was kind of under a time crunch so I put mine in the fridge for about 10 minutes. And then when you've let it chilled enough, you are going to use your hands. Yes, you are. Just make sure that they are washed and you're going to just grab that cake and rip it to little crumbs and shreds and you may die a little bit inside but it tastes really yummy and when you get it to a great consistency you are going to add a whole can of that cream cheese frosting in there and then this is where your hands get really messy you can use plastic gloves if you feel better about that but it is kind of fun getting dirty every once in a while so just make sure you mix that up and then when you mix that up, you're going to roll it into little balls and you will put those in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes so they can harden just enough. And while those are chilling, you will melt those candy melts when it gets closer to when they come out of the freezer. And you want to get this really super smooth consistency that I have here. You don't want it to be too, too thick because it makes it a little bit harder to cover the cake ball. And then once you get that right, what the first thing you are going to do is you're going to dip those sticks into the candy melt and then dip them halfway through the cake pop cake ball so it kind of acts as a glue and keeps it on there so when you dip it later it is a lot easier to cover it and if it is too heavy or you kind of skip that step it will fall in there and then you do want to continuously stir the candy melt so it looks okay when it goes onto the cake ball And if you want to add any of that caramel, go right ahead. And I would put this in the fridge again just so that caramel hardens because it does stay pretty goopy. But other than that, you guys, that is all for today. I hope you enjoy the super yummy pumpkin spice cake pops. And trust me, they do taste like pumpkin pie on a stick, but of course in cake form for whatever, you know, that matters. <laughs> and that is all that I have for you guys today. So I hope you enjoy the fall season. I will be having more DIYs and yummy recipes to share with you. But other than that, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.